Welcome to another episode of DIY Skincare Treats. But hold up, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out SavvyNaturalista.com for all your skincare needs. Make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. Make sure you thumbs up this video. And let's get into this video. You can find soaps and bath bombs as well as Miracle Glow Oil at SavvyNaturalista.com. But let's just jump into this video. Today we will be making lemon lime um, bath bombs. So these are going to be all natural essential oil bath bombs. But we will be using mica. So if you don't want to use mica, you don't have to. But let's just jump into this video. I am going to turn the light down a little bit because I think it's too bright. There we go. So <laughs> let's just jump into this video. So we're going to start with two cups of baking soda. So you can use any baking soda you like. Y'all know I love to go to Winco and buy it in bulk. So yeah. So I'm using just two cups. To that we will be adding a cup of citric acid. And then we will be adding two tablespoons of uh, SLSA. So that's just two tablespoons. Now this is an eighth of a tablespoon, an eighth of a cup, which is two tablespoons most likely. You got, I mean, for all you guys who don't know, an eighth of a cup is two tablespoons and the show's on a budget. So you know I gotta do what I gotta do. And we're gonna add an eighth of a cup or um, two tablespoons of kaolin clay. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Now we're just going to mix this up until it's combined. So you just want to mix it up really nice and slow. Make sure all your ingredients are combined. Now I will say SLSA is a bit potent. So you want to make sure you either have a mask on so you're not going like, <coughs> like I'm probably about to do in a minute. But just mix this all together until it's combined. So once all your ingredients are combined, we will be adding oil. So to this, I'm going to add a half a cup of olive oil. So this is a quarter cup. Y'all know the show is on a budget. So I'm going to add a quarter cup twice of oil, olive oil. Now we'll be adding Miracle Glow Oil. You can find Miracle Glow Oil at SavvyNaturalista.com. Miracle Glow Oil contains all natural 24 karat gold. You can also find our soaps and bath bombs at SavvyNaturalista.com as well, as well as Laramar Elixir. If you are a skincare junkie like myself, you will love Miracle Glow Oil. It really hydrates the skin while Laramar Elixir balances the skin. So make sure you check that out at SavvyNaturalista.com. Com. So you want to mix in your ingredients until it's combined. You just want to get a nice cookie dough mixture to your um, bath bomb mixture. So you want it to sort of look like cookie dough but not uh, like, I don't know, a crumbled cookie dough I would say. Not a cookie dough like a cookie dough like this. You want it to be more crumbled like sand. So what we're going to do is mix uh, the mixture. We're going to mix it, I mean half the mixture. So probably about two cups for each. Oh, let me put Miracle Glow Oil out the way. Make sure you check that out at SavvyNaturalista.com. Oh, let me put my gloves all the way on. So you want to take, I'm going to do about about I think about a cup and a half will work perfectly or about a cup and three-fourths of a cup so we'll see so I'm gonna cup this and see okay so that looks perfect okay so probably about a little more I would say about a handful more there we go so now because these are lemon lime bath bombs what we're going to do is add lemon essential oil to one and then lemon lime essential oil to another one now i will say you can use any lime essential oil you like i'm going to use about i would say two teaspoons of lime essential oil uh so it's up to you which one you want. I'll leave a link down below where you could get some lovely lime essential oil that you decide to use. So now that we have our lemon in one and our lime in the other, we're just going to mix in the essential oils. Uh, I did this because, <laughs> well, they're lemon lime bath bombs. And lemon lime, of course, lemon in one batch and lime to make it smell beautiful you know so you had to do that that way so I'm just gonna mix in the essential oil 
gives it a wonderful scent when you're in a bathtub. My personal opinion when you do it this way, it tastes, I mean it tastes, it smells so delicious you guys. I love the way it smells. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys, I'm probably hungry in it right now saying it tastes. <laughs> So now that we have this, we're gonna use green micas. So I'm gonna use a green mica, of course, for lime green. And then we're just gonna mix this up till it's a beautiful green. Oh yeah, side note, this really smells beautiful like the lime. So once your mixture is all mixed, now it's time to put them in the mold. So let's get started. So you guys know, <laughs> you know how we roll with this mixture. We're gonna use alcohol because a lot of you like when I use alcohol. Now, I really don't like to use alcohol when I do my bath bombs, and the only reason why is because it's kind of drying to the skin, and I feel like every time I take a bath when I use alcohol, it is very, very drying. That's just my personal opinion. That's how I feel about my skin. Some of my customers don't like it when I use it. Normally, I do use my Aqua de Rosas, which you can find at SavvyNaturalista.com. It is out of stock, of course, I promise. We will be bringing it back very soon. I'm trying to make a batch, so bear with me, you guys. But you can find this at SavvyNaturalisa.com. This is a multi-purpose rose water toner. I love Aqua de Rosas for my face, everything. You guys know I love Aqua de Rosas. But today we're going to do alcohol. I mean, you could do witch hazel, too. I like witch hazel, but I use Aqua de Rosas. So, you know, you just spritz a little bit. Spritz, spritz, spritz. And then one, after you spritz it, make sure it's really covered really well with the alcohol. Um, and I also don't like to smell like alcohol, you guys. Now, you guys know I'm an airhead, so I do airhead things. I should have done the yellow first, but I forgot. And I am a lefty, so <laughs> think I have to do it like this. <laughs> oh my God, left-handed moment, you guys. Side note, side note, if you do decide to use alcohol, you know, it's very drying, so it will help your bath bombs dry faster. But every time, I feel like every time I use this type of mold, so I get these at the dollar store, and I feel like every time I use this type of mold, it tends to like rust. And you guys know these are cheap bath bomb molds, I mean molds anyway at the dollar store. Uh, so, you know. They they rust even more with the bath bomb color. So I'm kind of hoping today it doesn't rust as much. But we'll see. Now you can use a round bath bomb mold if you like those. It's up to you. So this is how I like to do it. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do something a little different. So we're going to kind of, you know you know, do a trade-off today. Something a little different than I normally do. Yeah, you know. So I also wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about using um, lime essential oil, because I have a story. I don't know if I mentioned this story before. I've probably mentioned it 50 million times, but I'm gonna tell you anyway, because I feel it's important when using lime essential oil. So many of you know I'm a gung-ho naturalist. I love natural things. I love to be natural. So one day I was using lime essential oil in the bathtub, just lime essential oil, and it sort of caused a bit of scarring on my skin. So I wanna say this by saying you guys need, I'm saying that because when you put lime essential oil, if it's a real lime, not the fake kind, a real lime essential oil, it will cause scarring to your skin. So you want to be a bit careful with it. Um, there are plenty of times where I've had it scar my skin. And normally when it does that, what I do is I'll put petroleum jelly on my skin so the scarring can go away. Uh, you could tell when you have like a scar, it's kind of like a dry patch and it feels hard, like it feels rough. Like very, very rough. It doesn't feel, it feels funny. Like you're like, oh my God, what's wrong with my skin? What happened? Like you don't know what happened. 
and every time I would get in the bathtub I would put like a teaspoon not a lot I would put a teaspoon and I still got that scarring so you just be very careful when you're using essential oils I'm just telling you this just in case so you can know when you're using lime essential oils to be really careful with what you do to your skin with the essential oil I'm just giving you a little advice from Auntie Shandera because sometimes you know how y'all are you know sometimes you like to use the natural oils but they can cause scarring to the skin as well so just be careful that's all I'm gonna say you know I'm not gonna get into the debate on natural versus non-natural do what you want you know we live in America or wherever you live you know <laughs> You're free to do as you please. So yeah. Oh. So here are the bath bombs. I'm going to do the rest. And then we're going to be back to unmold these lovely bath bombs. So I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Okay, you guys. So I let these set for about 10 minutes. Because I know if I let them set any longer, they're going to get stuck in a mold. And I don't want them to get stuck in a mold. So we're about to pop them right now. They're still a little wet. But, you know, I do not want them to get stuck in a mold or rust. So let's just do it. So you want to just tap a little bit. And there you have it. That is what they look like. Um, they're still pretty fresh, but... Look at them. Look how beautiful they are. So I'm going to let these dry because I do not want to bother them or agitate them because I feel like they're going to crumble. <laughs> so I'm going to just let these dry and then I'm going to show you guys them tomorrow. So I'll be back soon. Bye, you guys. Okay, you guys. So we're back and these are the bath bombs. Um, they cracked. Uh, I know why they cracked. I used alcohol and... They're pretty hard, but they just crack because of the alcohol. Uh, alcohol is very drying, and the humidity here in the desert has to be about, I would say, below 10%. Like, our humidity, like, we don't have any humidity. It's just dry weather. So, if you live in the desert and you do decide to make these bath bombs, you could use Aqua de Rosas or any toner of your, your choice, but... You know, Aqua de Volt Roses is available at SavvyNaturalista.com. So, yeah, these are the bath bombs. Uh, this is probably... <laughs> they all cracked. Look it. I'm so upset. But here, this is the cutest one. So, you guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this episode of DIY Skincare Treats. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out Miracle Glow Oil as well as Laramar Elixir at SavvyNaturalista.com as well as our soaps and bath bombs. Love you so much, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye, you guys!